Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute basket. This is a crochet project and it's a very simple basket but I think what it gives it that beautiful boho vibe are the pom-poms that I really really like. And before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I also want to mention that this video is in collaboration with Clover, which is my favorite brand to work with. So now if you want to learn how to make this super cute basket, keep watching the video. So to make this basket, you will need two skeins of super bulky yarn, two strands held together. You will also need any worsted weight yarn for the pom-poms. You will also need two crochet hooks. This is a 10 millimeter crochet hook and you will also need a 12 millimeter. These are both from Clover and I'm gonna list them in the description box below if you wanna check them out. You will also need scissors, a tapestry needle, and pom-pom makers. These ones are my favorite ones and you can have in here four sizes but I will be using the middle one because I think it's the perfect size that I want so you can go ahead and use any sizes that you like. So to begin the basket we're gonna hold two strands of yarn together and now we're gonna make a magic ring. Inside this magic ring, you are gonna single crochet six. Now that you have your six single crochet, pull that yarn so you can close the ring and close that first row with a slip stitch. For the second round, single crochet one and place a stitch marker and then single crochet again in the same space so now we have two stitches out of one go into the next stitch and do the same we're gonna do another increase there single crochet two in the same space and continue doing this all the way around until you have 12 single crochets. Once you're done we can go ahead and start round number three. Single crochet in the first stitch, place the stitch marker and increase in the second stitch then single crochet one and then increase again in the second stitch available there and continue this sequence all the way around Now for round number four, single crochet one, place the stitch marker, single crochet in the next one and then increase in the third space in here 
and we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way around single crochet two and increase in the third stitch available and now we're gonna continue with this sequence until we have the base of the basket so in here as you can see mine measures 10 inches which is 26 centimeters and if you're curious I did eight rows eight rounds sorry <laughs> so now we're gonna close this last round in here and the last stitch we're gonna do is a slip stitch so then we are gonna have a clean edge of the basket so now we're gonna go ahead with the first row of the body so chain one and for just one row we're gonna single crochet just grabbing the back loop only as you can see in here we're just grabbing as you can see we're just single crochet from the back loop only and that's gonna give a very nice and clean edge to the basket this is row number one or round number one of the body so continue doing this for one row only so once you're done take your stitch marker and now you're gonna continue working in the round like this no slip stitch no chain just working in the round for a total of 11 rows or until you have the size of the basket that you like how tall you want it to be if you want it smaller you can do less or if you want it taller you can do more i did eight rows in total and from now on you're gonna grab the full stitch not just the back loop only so continue doing this all the way around until you have eight rows of the body so now that we are done with the eight rows change to your 12 millimeter crochet hook and we're gonna do the last row just slip stitch and you don't want it to be super tight so that's why I'm using a bigger size hook because then my stitches are gonna be a little looser and that's what we want because if we do it super tight then it's gonna like shrink at the top and we don't want that so try to do it as loose as possible but make sure that it still looks nice and continue doing this all the way around so now that you're done I'm gonna show you how I like to join the round so then you can barely notice that that's the end of the round so grab your scissors give it a snip there and pull the yarn from the loop grab your tapestry needle Make sure both strands of yarns are thread up. And this is how I do it. And just like that, we close that round and you can't even notice that that's the end of the round <laughs> so now just weave in the end and that's pretty much it for the basket remember that you can do it as big or as small as you want I'm gonna leave the crochet chart in my blog the link it's gonna be in the description box below 
and here we have the basket it's very sturdy and perfect to use for whatever you want so now we're gonna make the pom-poms and like I mentioned before I'm using the middle size pom-pom maker so we're gonna grab one side and start wrapping your yarn around and continue doing this until it's full You have to remember that the more yarn you put, the fluffier your pompon is gonna get. So now snip that and bring the next side and do the same thing and try to put the same amount of yarn. Give it a snip again. Now we're gonna cut a strand of yarn so we can wrap or pom pom around and grab a super sharp scissors this is very important and start cutting all the way around So once you have this done, grab your yarn, the string of yarn that you had and give it a nice and super tight knot. I like to do a few knots and then I like to wrap the yarn around a couple times and knot it again. This is personal preference but I obviously don't want my pom-poms to fall apart. so. Try to do it as tight as possible. Some yarns will break if you pull it extremely tight, but the one I'm using right now, it's perfect. It doesn't break and I'm tying it, trust me, extremely hard. <laughs> so when that is done, don't cut those um, string of yarns because we're gonna use them to attach the pom-pom to our basket so now just take the pom-pom maker and put it in place again so you can make the next pom-pom and this is how your pom-pom should be looking very easy and fun to make and now if you want to give it a more perfect and clean look you can grab your scissors and start give it in a trim that's what I like to do too and then they look even more like round and perfect. And this is how my pom pom looks like. And here I have all the pom poms I'm gonna be attaching to my basket. And to attach them it's very easy. You have two strands of yarn, grab a smaller hook and pass one of the strings through and what I like to do in here is just a simple knot in here and then I will attach all the other pom-poms just with with one simple knot because then I will check if I like where I placed them and if I don't like them it's super easy to remove them and move them around so that's a tip that I'm giving you because then if, once you attach it really, really hard, then you're not going to want to take it. So make sure you have them where you like. And that's it. I really, really hope you enjoy this video. If so, please, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And keep watching the next video. It's going to be the other crochet boho basket. That it's going to be super cute too. So stay tuned to that and remember that you have all the materials, the pattern and everything that you need to know in the description box below and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!